Welcome to the playoffs. Playoffs? <laughs> Talk about playoffs. That's right, the playoffs. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's have a little toast here. All right. Oh, let's do better now. There we go. A little cheers. Yeah, a little pandemic playoff toast. Uh, both want? podcasters made it. To the playoffs. Pittsburgh draft. <laughs> Pittsburgh draft. <laughs> Pittsburgh draft. I thought you were going to continue that. <laughs> I, I missed out on the two uh, the two time champ. Yeah, uh, two. We didn't have a like an icy light. Pretty soon, I'm going to be a two time champ. Oh yeah. Uh, we had an icy light. I would be like Pittsburgh draft. <laughs> Pittsburgh draft beer. And it's that. from Ohio, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio is where our beer is from. Uh, which is a great. Is that where beer. they're making it now? Well. Wasn't it? we were in Cleveland? We went wait, to the Great Lakes. Oh, Great Lakes! Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know. I thought oh, you think talking... icy light? Right. Well, I thought I know they make it in Pittsburgh, but I thought maybe they ship their like facilities elsewhere. I don't know. No, I know Rolling Rock sold out. Yeah, they did. They're run by like a Japanese company now or something. Dicks. Yeah, they probably got a lot of money. Keep America great, but keeping your business in America. <laughs> yeah. That should be the new slogan. That's my presidential slogan. <laughs> Every business will be not be allowed to move out of America. Ooh. That is created in America. Oh, yeah. It's Delling. It's nice to uh, celebrate that you made the playoffs this year. You know, last year I was celebrating by myself. And uh, I had the bye. But you know what? This year... But, yeah. I uh, made playoffs last year with the bye. This year you uh, snuck into that bye. So, congratulations, sir. Snuck in by uh, 14... No. I don't. I don't even do the math, but I know Eight it wasn't points, much. Eight points, nine points. Nah, I don't know what it was. It wasn't much for sure. I was actually um, sweating a little bit. I'm. Sh I'm sure. I mean, you kind of had a feeling you're gonna get it done, but you know, Beasley made it interesting. Great white motivator. <laughs> Great white motivator. <laughs> uh, like I said, Gag stopped stealing my strategies. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, he doesn't need your strategies to win uh, Tonto Bulls because he's made, he's got as ma as many victories as you in half the time. So, not that I'm here to pump up gags, but I'm just holy crap! You're playing against him, you're <laughs> sucking his dick at the same time. Jeez! I'm just trying to like give him a false sense of uh, security. Bravo! Bravo! Before, yeah, before I uh, pull the rug from out underneath him. Um, but yeah. Tear his head off. Tear his head off, Brian. <laughs> Kill him. That's what he used to say in football. Mm. Terry Bradshaw was quarterback. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They wouldn't say, like, something's polite, like, um, pulling the rug or something Pulling like the rug. No. Yeah. I'm going to pull the wool over his eyes this week. <laughs> I'm going to Arabian eye goggle the fuck out of you. <laughs> You're going to translate everything I say. <laughs> Brand Brandon Bigler would understand what I'm talking about. I'm sure, yeah. With the Arabian... Eye beer. goggles. Eye goggles, yeah. Yeah, I'm not picking up what you're putting down, but that's all right. I'm okay with that. You're an innocent man, Brian. That's right, that's right. So here we are, drinking our beers, <sighs> celebrating, and Brian goes, congrats on making the playoffs, ka-ching, and then he says, sorry about losing your job again. <laughs> Gentlemen, I just came back from work. I'm shut down until January 4th. I had to clean out my locker for the second time. Uh, mm -hmm. Life's funny, Brian. Yes. Year A year ago, I was telling your wife, I said, I want my concert posters framed. I spare no expense. I don't care what the cost is. Yeah. And today, I'm like, can I afford a two for five Whopper? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Let me count my change. <laughs> it's a crazy world oh. we're living in. I'm not having that much fun. Last year, at this time, it might have actually, I, can't, I think it might have been a Thursday night game that we went to the Bills and Steelers. Was yeah. it Thursday night? I think it was. Is, is either the third? I think it was. I think I went to school the following day. Yeah. So literally this time last year, almost the same exact week, we were packed into a stadium with sixty thousand screaming fans, freezing our asses off. That's right. And uh, you know, I lost to Gags in the playoffs, but we, we'll gloss, we'll gloss over that gloss part. Over that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, now we're sitting on my porch swing with a space heater outside with a little blanket on our laps right. on a swing, and it's like. 
It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I'm and I for one I'm tired of it. But yeah. I understand. It sucks, but I understand. I'm not one of those people that are like, why are you closing? Why are you closing your casino? And I'll be like, it's because of jackasses like you that won't put your mask up over your nose, you dickwad. <laughs> Maybe, oh, you covered your mouth. You don't think your other nostrils are two holes? <laughs> Jeez. You uh, moron. I was like, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, it's because of the governor. That's what I try to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got code. He's dumb. No, he's not, you jackass. He's stuck in a. A building with so many people is ridiculous. Same like the White House, you know? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, if, if you are in public long enough, you're going to get it. Especially at this point. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's running rampant. I'm ready to shut it down, man. Yeah, like shut but like we were talking about beforehand, they should shut the entire state shut down. Shut the whole world down. Yeah, maybe the don't whole country. Don't charge bills. Don't yeah. charge mortgages, rents. Right, right, right. This is how you solve it. Just get a vaccine. Take the vaccine. Don't be an anti-vaxxer. And and then shut everything down. And then shut, <laughs> except for hospitals, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, nurses. Give out the un, give out the unemployment, whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. And then you you're clean on the other side. Just hit a pause button. That's right. Sober up, America. Yeah. Don't be idiots. So, anyways, yeah. So you're off to uh, next year, huh? I am. I'm off to next year. So. I mean, they get to watch every single... You get to see every football game. Yep. You can watch as many movies as you want, play with Blue. Oh, yeah. We're going to play with Blue. Uh, Bang, Brogan, whatever. <laughs> uh, dude, I got like a 10-day a marathon coming up here. <laughs> Honest to God. A marathon. I'm trying to get pregnant. It's time. <laughs> 10 days in a row. A window. 10 days, twice a day. <laughs> lots of water. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest. I'm so out of shape. Like, I won't quit, though. I'll have a heart attack. It's, I said, one of those things, if you're going to go... I want to go make it love to my wife, but there you particularly, go. I'd rather do it at the age of like 80, not 41. Yeah, yeah. So, but I always say if I do, you can put on my tombstone, he died doing something he loved. That's Banging women. <laughs> women. <laughs> Makes it sound like you're at an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That, that videotape's gone years ago. New York City! <laughs> Back that ass up, Brian. There yeah, you are. Back, back that, that ass, ass up, up into the playoffs. That's right. And that's what it all comes back to. I backed that ass up into the playoffs. And uh, getting back to fantasy football, I never thought that I would lose this game. And I thought there was a good chance that I lost to Craig. But, hey, it worked out the way it worked out. And uh, the one thing, the hilarious thing that Craig pointed out on his recap was he asked Jut what the hell he did to Juju when he came to Rizzo's. Because Juju... Pretty much single-handedly knocked him out of the playoffs whenever Jay beat him. Oh, really? Because I needed <laughs> Jut to make to lose, you know, uh, one game for sure. Two games was a bonus. I needed the two games. Um, but I needed him to lose one game for sure. And it came down to Juju in the fourth quarter. He got those two crappy passes that he didn't need, really need. Mm -hmm. But he did it just to spite Jut. So wow. we don't know what he did, what happened at Rizzo's that night. But whatever it happened, thanks. Spit his food. Yep. I would like to have seen Justin in the playoffs. Two the kitchen of love, eyeing each other up, trying to make those meatballs. Meanwhile, like I want to kick your ass. <laughs> you know, and Justin has, you know, he had Christian McCaffrey. If he was snuck in, didn't trade him. Yeah, it would have been a oh, fantastic man. move. Everybody would have been worried. Oh, crap. Here comes 40 uh, point games that, from McCaffrey. That would have been awesome. However, it doesn't even look like he's going to play. That's what no. I, the latest. Which also seems like a bad move for Justin. Not that you, not that you can predict the future, but yeah, you, yeah. I mean. There were offers out there for keeper value, and he said no. Yep, so. Craig, Craig pointed that out, and he thinks that if he would have done it, he he, um, he went public with his trade. He said that it was a Calvin Ridley and, and Matty Ice from a Garbage free. trade. But he think I, I, I think he said that he probably would have made playoffs if he would have made that trade, which makes sense because, you know, he was getting nothing from a Right. Free. Um, and I didn't run the numbers, but I offered him uh, Keenan straight up. Keenan from McCaffrey. Up, Keenan, dude, Keenan was on fire. And do you for, did you forget Jut's in love with Keenan? Yeah, but and he's yeah. having a great year. So I thought maybe he would have pulled that trigger. And I think because he had some pretty decent games there, he that might have put him over the top. I don't know. I didn't run the numbers. What I, did you offer him? I don't since remember. Since we're talking, I can't remember. You did you offer I him a quarterback? A trades. Did I offer him a quarterback? He probably offered him at least Josh Allen or Kyler Murray. I think I offered him Josh Allen. I don't think I offered him Kyler Murray. Yeah. Uh, I think I was going to go, I think Allen, maybe, 
I think it was Alan. Alan and Cooper. That's what I tried to offer him. Yeah. And then, uh, or, and I know I was definitely trying to fire, uh, I was about ready to pull the trigger on throwing Kittle into the trade. Jeez. That was like all systems go. Trying to get that McCaffrey. But yeah, it doesn't matter because that didn't happen. CMC barely played this year, which sucks. And um, number one overall pick, it's like a curse. Yeah, and obviously, let's not forget number two overall pick. He was number two overall. Saquon. Oh, he was it? out early. And uh, it was, uh, who was number, number four th- overall pick. I don't know number three. Was it number three? Easy, easy. E? Probably. His quarterback got hurt for the year. So that kind of stunk. Uh, who, uh, Michael Thomas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Michael yeah. Thomas got hurt for all year. Fifth pick was uh, Josh. Picked Tyreek Hill. And traded him. Traded him. And then Craig had Kamara and still has him. And he's still a beast. So yeah, it only worked out for Craig. He's beast light. Beast light. With, with, with Taysom Hill. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sorry. Unless we want it to happen. Uh, Taysom Hill isn't going to be there for the whole fantasy playoffs. Uh, Drew Brees is going to come back like week 15. Is he? Yeah. Just when I'm, if, if I were to win, that's when I'm playing him. Yep. Pretty much. God damn. But hey, he might be rusty. That's true. So that's, that's true. what we got to hope for. Maybe he can't. He can't hit that little screen <laughs> out that he hits them all the time for you. It's just a garbage play. Throws a ball yeah. half a yard. Well, let's get this show started. We've got a lot to talk about. And uh, let's do it. Unfinished business. All right, Dilling, right off the top, uh, unfinished business would, well, technically it's finished. I want to give a shout out to Bean for putting up a solid season not that everybody else didn't um but he put up a point total that usually gets you into the playoffs but he couldn't get that seventh win and i'm lucky as hell to be in with six wins just so happens that i put up more points than him and uh you know i know he's looking at some point totals from disco especially <laughs> and i think that might be the only person that he might have outscored but, you know, I, he, I'm sure he's looking like I should be in there, not him. Right. Um, so, Disco, or not Disco, Dub C, you put up a great year. Good squad. You've got some great keepers coming into next year. So, I know you're holding that head high, but you wanted to be there. So, kudos to you, Disco. Or not Disco. What is ah! the fuck you, Disco? <laughs> fuck off, man. Get out of my head. Uh, Bean, kudos to you. Sorry you make the playoffs. Get those algorithms checked and fixed. I'm sure you can come back strong. I'm sure you got some keeper potential. Uh, also, kudos to you for working overnight shift on the COVID Ooh, floor. Yeah. Hopefully, you're doing all right. Uh, also, I'm sure if you're looking at points, you'd like to point out that, um, let me see here, Disco has the least scored points against oh, him. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. Craig is number two. So, there's that. And, uh, you know, so that plays a role in the playoff, getting into the playoffs. Oh, sure, sure. When your team, people are just stinking and join up against you for some reason, while your team stinks as well. Yep, when you get uh, the, uh, but yeah, because Craig, I know, got a couple of wins, at least one where he scored like 140 points. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, another person got like BS, 128. Yeah. So. And he would have only beaten maybe one other team that week. Right, yeah. right. So, I don't know, Bean, hopefully you can just uh, recoup, root for me. Yeah. No, root uh, for somebody on, you know, this side of the state. Right. But right. Um, me or Tree. <laughs> Tree's not on this side of the state. <laughs> That's Tree's in the middle. We have to go to Gettysburg or wherever he lives. Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Wait, One wait, of the birds. No, you're right. I think it, was Get- it is Gettysburg. Is it Gettysburg? Yeah. Okay. Or Mechanicsburg. Oh, now I'm all confused. I don't know. Are we it's going to Hershey Park if Tree wins? That'd be fun. We probably won't be able to. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking COVID won't let us. We'll go to Mechanicsburg and we'll be able to smell it. Smell Hershey Park. We can't go. It's terrible. We'll do uh, curbside pickup. Curb. That's not the same. I know. I want to ride the roller coaster. Yeah. I want to get a cavity. Uh, but yeah, kudos to you, Bean. And uh, I guess also uh, the, the point is, is he... Uh, wasn't the only other six and seven team we should mention that Jut and Josh both ended with six and seven records, so that's that's honorable, you know. Yeah, it's uh nothing to sneeze at. I mean, hey, I got a six and seven record and I'm in the playoffs, <laughs> <laughs> suck it. Wow, oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Um, but yeah, Josh obviously he, him and Jut had a chance to get in in the last week. If they had won, they would have gotten in. That's so, true. Maybe we wanted to like fall on the sword and throw the game for them so that 
they would win and you wouldn't be in? <laughs> I was just an idea, guys. Yeah, Hello. Yeah. I wouldn't have followed you for it. Craig yeah. probably would have, you know, put a new one on for you. But I wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, strategy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's all I got to say about that. You got any unfinished business? Uh, unfinished business. Uh, how you like them apples, Craig? How you like them apples? You wanted T. Y. Hilton. I knew you wanted them. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my That's here's nice. my thinking, Craig. I had seventy six dollars. I spent twenty bucks. Waiver priority. If if Disco wanted them, if somebody else had more money. One kudos to them. Is that what Craig had? Did he have twenty bucks. I yeah. checked it out. Yeah. So and I checked my waiver priority because I said I'll be damned <laughs> if Craig gets T. Y. Hilton and he would have and plays against yeah. me and he goes off. Meanwhile, I've got Michael Pittman Jr. Yeah. And that's the guy Ooh. I thought was going to go off. And T.Y. somehow miraculously comes out of nowhere. And my thought process was, I would rather have T.Y. Hilton on my bench and somebody say, you made the wrong choice. Yeah. Yeah. Than to have somebody say, Craig do his laugh on the thing. I guess nobody wanted T.Y. Hilton. Ha, ha, ha. Dattling, you should have got him. Yeah. So, fuck you, Craig. Hey. I want you to sweat. If you get injured, I want you to sweat so hard. My depth at receiver is ridiculous. <laughs> My bench is ridiculous. I've got so many average to moderately decent wide receivers on that bench. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> and I've got $56 left, Craig. So every week, I've got $20 20. to throw Ooh, at you wow. to strategically stop you from getting a player. Whoever is like the top dog. That is it. right. That is exactly what it is, Craig. So I hope you're prepared. To be disappointed <laughs> every week and, and curse my name. And, and I think you'll probably even do it if you don't make it to Taunton Bowl. You're right. <laughs> I will. What have I got to lose? I will I will do it and make sure it's a player that Craig doesn't need. Like if it's like if he has a quarterback, he's got Aaron Rodgers, you know he's gotta play him. Dude, I'm dropping Kyler Murray. Yep. You can't have yep. him. Yep. Somebody else can have him, screw off. Because <laughs> I don't want the wizard to win. And you should be used to that by now. I think he he's used to that from everyone. Yeah. So you just you're just a little bit more passionate about it. You're I a little am. more I colorful. I look for other ways, man. <laughs> yes, that was a great move. I mean, Tree and I both wanted him, and we put a bit of well, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh -huh. we put a bit in for him too. We I knew I wasn't going to get him. I was like, you know what? There's <laughs> I can't say I didn't try. I um, I so yeah, but it, well, well played, nice move. Thank you. And I yeah, told you, yeah. I love T.Y. Hilton, man. Yeah. And Ever since he, I saw him, at, I dealt him at the casino. You, uh, that's right. And you and might play him. I might. I might play yeah, him. He might have another good week this week. Hey, why three. can't I? I, mean, I don't want to play him I know, next week. I'm just saying, if he has three good weeks in a row. Why not play in the fourth? Yep. Whoever plays against me. Another small thing. I didn't really check the actual numbers, but I think I'm still up by about 20 points. <laughs> Rough, roughly. Roughly, yeah. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah, so um, just not, keeping tabs on that, not forgetting about it. I am uh, not looking forward to that. If <laughs> you I, get, I get slapped. You, you got three weeks for him to make it up. I, I do. I mean, it's I only do. 20 points. It literally could go either way. It could. It could. But if I lose by like one or two points, it's going to sting Ooh, that much more. Yeah. Because Lockett has gone off for like 40 point weeks. Right. And, right. and Metcalf's gotten 10. I'm so gonna, I'm going to need one of those. Yeah. So. <sighs> And uh, another thing, Josh, your nuggets, your nuggets of information for the playoffs, trying to make it up to us because the files in the computer went blank, virus caught it, disappeared. Uh, so you're not going to do it. I mean, I enjoy having the nuggets. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's get them back for the uh, rest of the playoffs. And uh, let's see if you can actually finish these next two weeks and with more nuggets or if you just fail us again. Yeah, I have to say, Josh, we're Cobras and everything, but, like, that was just some weak sauce. Weak nugget sauce i mean i like the little tidbits but it's not the same when you don't analyze it when you don't actually run the numbers and and then you're like you could have just emailed that to us and we could have you know injected it into our playoffs here but you had to take the limelight and try to like one up the podcast one more time you know you try to steal our ratings in the beginning of the season and now you're trying to blow us up on the line app you know what get bent yeah you're just a you're just a one season in the pan TV show. Brian and I are the fucking Simpsons, man. Or the we're married with children, the Simpsons, Family Guy. You're just I can't into even, one. Ro yeah, I can't even think of a you. Yeah, a you're TV canceled. That lasted one episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's how bad. You got a six season like you know attempt and you failed. That's right. 
Yes, Josh. Or, or six episodes, sorry. I, <laughs> I think you should feel really bad about yourself. But we would and, like a and couple more nuggets. I'm glad you didn't get 300 in bowling. Oh, Suck it. man, that is cold. I hope you, next time you get so close, I hope you get 299. <laughs> I hope that one oh, pin's man. about to fall. And then you think about Detley saying about, oh, I don't want you to get 300. You're like, I'm going to get 300. And it just like magically like goes right back in spot. spot. And you get two ninety nine. You know what'd be funny if he did that. You could get him one of those little trophies that have three hundred, and then you could just put minus one <laughs> <laughs> with a sharpie. Oh, that'd be great. Or I mean, you could do like those T shirts. You remember when uh, New England was eighteen and one? Yes. People yes. made it eighteen and one. I could just have two ninety nine. <clears throat> Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> Josh, I hope you get your three hundred some someday. You catch that big fish, because my grandpa got one and he had his trophy. He was so proud of that. So. I hope for your sake you get it, but it's it's tough. It's really tough. But you should have had it by now. You're in three leagues. That's true. <laughs> I mean, oh well. Uh, my last piece of unfinished business goes out to Gags. Gags, you've been really talking up your big game here on Brian's matchup. Not that I'm rooting for Brian or anything, but I feel like you're talking so much. It's like when somebody buys a Porsche to make up for their lack of penis size yeah we know you like, got big balls like but... that's how much yeah you're like ridiculously big balls but you're talking like you got a small penis i yeah. don't know is that what it is is that what it is gags because you want brian to, to fear you but, but you're just you know you're ashamed of yourself <laughs> i mean ed, ed could probably tell us he's seen the balls he's probably seen the peep <laughs> the peep <laughs> uh, i'll never look at a peep again <laughs> disturbing uh, I, I love on an honest note I love the trash talk with gags I love yeah. the banter yeah. I love that he you know he's putting up the killer song I'm that the was, man that was good that was good <laughs> also though gags here I mean I'll call you straight out pussy because you didn't grow your beard <laughs> for the whole year like Ed did Ed's the fucking man Whoa. he showed up to the draft he had a beard down halfway down his chest meanwhile you said you had to trim because you had a loose end what uh, the right, pussy kind of common right, is that right, right. Not that I would ever grow my beard out for a year. Well, maybe I will. No, I'm not allowed. <laughs> my wife won't let me. I'll say that right That should now. have been internal I'm monologue. I have kids uh, here. So maybe later. But yeah, still, I can't believe you, did, you didn't do it. You should have stuck through. You were so close. And I'm just mad at you. And I respect Ed a hell of a lot. That was some interesting unfinished business. I love it. Rolling down the street. Smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice, laid back. I'm my man, I'm my money, I'm my money, I'm my man. Or fab, whatever. <laughs> I screwed it up this time. You're, you usually screwed up. I totally I screwed it up. I'm you on nailed the ball it. Now, man, it's oh, this man. beer you gave me. It's Christmas <laughs> ale. It's spicy. It is delicious, by the way. It's a little pricey for my taste, but Great Lakes Christmas ale. Highly recommend it. It's sweet. Oh, I'm on the verge of quitting beer, Brian. Well, why is that? getting under that jameson whiskey and ginger kick damn that yeah, sounds dangerous it does sound dangerous i, kind well, of I guess like that's it. kind of how you are huh? you're a dangerous man well you know a man that's been out, <laughs> apparently been fired for his job for a, three weeks a man who lives dangerously who cannot grow his own beard that's right <laughs> well i mean for a long period of time <laughs> that's right that. i grow my beard further my beard grows out farther than you grow yours uh, brian well i can't grow mine out why can't you for because i literally can't I physically you can't. don't have the good genes that's true if that's you would true. eat meat you'd be able to grow that beard <laughs> yeah so it's a vegan thing it's a, it's a vegan thing have a steak why don't you <laughs> grow a beard. grow a beard like a real man get some beard hey, butter call it a day i wish i could man Mine, I basically am a porcupine. That's why I call you Scratchy. Yeah, that's appropriate. All right. So, anyways, uh, let's look at these fab transactions. Let's start with the with the smaller one first. We see here it's uh, Ty Johnson. Only two people bid on him. It looks like. Remember who he played for before? I don't. Detroit Lions. Oh, nice. I did not know that. Had him on my roster. He hmm. didn't do dick. Did you play him? I did. Okay. It was that's my continuously. My cycle every year of not having running backs was part of Ty Johnson. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, he, uh, Tree Sice, Possum Magic, bid $0. And just ahead of him was Hillbillies on PCP with $0. That waiver priority kicking in. And I think I've done that to Tree like two or three times this year since we've been broke. 
<laughs> it's really kind of fun. Like just two broke ass dudes <laughs> yeah, having fun with the crumbs. <laughs> and somehow I keep on trumping them. It's great. I love it. Trumping. Wow. So, you guys sorry. are the rats of our league. We we absolutely are. And we'll, hey, we're rats who are in the playoffs. That's um, true. That is very true. Which it does suck to not have a shot at T.Y. Hilton, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it. No regrets. No regrets. A little bit, but not that much. <laughs> um, I'd more regrets if I didn't make playoffs. But anyway, um, Tree says, um, I don't think either one of us are probably going to play Ty Johnson, but it's good to have just to see what happens. Who knows? I Frank, mean, he's the only running back, right? For well, now. yeah, for now. I don't know if Frank Gore might play this week. Okay. Can I do a real fast unfinished business? Sure, yeah, yeah. I want to say kudos to Tree Sice. This year, I feel like you played better yeah, than yeah. like the last six or seven years in fantasy Absolutely. football. Absolutely. I feel that you're like the moves and trades that you've done are good. And, uh, They're back to the old Tree Sice ways. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I want to say kudos to that, yeah. and I'm happy to have the real Tree Sice back. Yeah. For about five years, you know, it was just like tanking, tanking, tanking. But prior to that, he was winning the league. Not like not the Tonto Bowl, but you know yeah, that Romo jersey. Yeah, <laughs> he'd go ten and three, you know nine and four. He'd always bring home that you know first place trophy, but n- not the Tonto we Bowl. We'll have a first place yeah, trophy. Whatever, Brian. whatever. I won it last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I agree. True Slice made some great moves this year, and the fact that he held on to Derrick Henry, even though everyone in the league took a shot. Yeah, I'll give you my whole yep, team. Yep, no, yep, yep. I'm not doing it. That's like tree size last five years. We've been like, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Why not? Sounds good. Sure. Yep. And I know I, I made some good offers. I, I didn't know I wasn't the only one. I tried so yeah. hard. <laughs> Did it. Oh, man. <laughs> Just wasn't budget. Who didn't? I know. Oh, I thought I had him at one point, but he's like, nope. I went through Kyler Murray in a little late, but he's like, I don't, you know, I just don't think so. I just don't think I'm going to do it. I was like, God, come on. <laughs> I can't trade Kyler Murray. Anymore. Who can I trade? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what's the other matchup here? The other um, fab uh, it was yeah. T.Y. Hilton. Okay. And uh, what were the bids there? Uh, it was uh, Tree Size Zero. Yep. U Zero. Yes. Uh, Craig and Visick, twenty dollars. Yes. And uh, Detling twenty dollars. <laughs> and and I won them. with the higher waiver priority, cause I'm a dick, and I'm happy. I mean, you're not a dick. It's just a great defensive move. It, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I was a goalie in high school, Brian. I, I know all about defense. <laughs> Not that there ever was one in front of me. Oh, tr- is that a burn on tree size? No, because tree size didn't start. <laughs> That's the burn. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he did after you left, I guess. Oh, well, that does, does not yeah, count yeah. if I wasn't there. Let me see if I can remember my uh, defensive line. Brandon Schaefer. Yes. Yuri. Was he defensive? I thought he was more midfield. Uh, that's a good call. Okay, Brandon Schaefer. Corey Pavlovsky? Corey no, he was a senior, okay. so I didn't get yeah. to play until June. My senior year, so okay. I, they made me a goalie. Okay. Uh, all right, Brandon Schaefer. I want to say Doug Schaefer. Yes. Roger Thompson. Yes. Uh, Stan Wozniak. Sta- nah, he, he was a winger. Yeah. If you played, uh, Andy Toth. I feel like Andy Toth. <laughs> all right. To be honest. All right. Nobody else Pretty cares. Close. Nobody else Pretty cares close. about this. <laughs> That's true. 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 Right. No, it wasn't Andy. Well, all right, let's move on. Anyways, um, <laughs> now I really I just want to know. I remember Brandon. He was good. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at these uh, fab bids. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> Cheers to T.Y. Hilton, my man. I hope you have a great couple of weeks. Three yeah. weeks to be exact. I hope Philip Rivers just throws you the shit ton of balls. And, that, and that's hot, very possible. It is. Yeah, now that he's heating up. You I know? sure could use you. I yeah. could use a dependable fourth wide receiver. I'm not going to lie. Tree Size isn't going to lie. I, we both wanted him for our flex. That's what I want him for. Yeah. It's either him or Michael Pittman Jr. Yep. And this this week will probably help tell the story of what you're going to do. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know about... I honestly think Indianapolis is going to try to run the ball a lot more. Johnson, JTT Taylor. Yep, yep. Uh, I think that also might hurt Craig a little bit in the flex. But, I mean, Craig has such a strong team. Uh, otherwise, it might be different. It's it's still, every every like you said, every it's difficult in the playoffs because everybody has like, such a good team. Yep, yep. There are six quality teams, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. 
In my opinion, that sucked. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. All right. That never, ever gets old. I don't know about how you feel about that. I love it. <laughs> it's I like, just, I just hope we can win a game. <laughs> yeah. It's like you got to watch Charlie Brown every year, and you got to listen to that clip every year. It's true. It's tradition. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get the playoff started, Detling. This week's matchups. Playoffs. <laughs> Get your finger out of my ass. All right. The first matchup on a wild card weekend. Wild card, bitches. <laughs> Woo. It's Disco in the four seed going up against Possum Magic in the five seed. And uh, if you thought this was going to be the matchup of the week, you're sadly mistaken. It's a great matchup, but it's not sexy. There's nothing too sexy about it. It's kind of blah. A little bit blah. Now, we're not saying your teams aren't sexy. It's just the matchup's not sexy. That's right. How can it be that sexy when the other matchup is so much sexy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know Disco's excited to be in the playoffs. Possum Magic is finally back into the playoffs. This is going to be a great wild card weekend. And let's start right off with the quarterbacks. We've got Ryan Tannehill starting for Possum Magic. And we've got... Patrick, thank you for the State Farm discount, Mahomes. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, clearly, I think we're going to both go Mahomes here. Got to go Mahomes. Yeah. Even against Miami, he's going to put up 60, 70 points. Disgustingly scary. Yes. All right. Starting for wide receiver, you can T.Y. lock it in with T.Y. <laughs> lock it. <laughs> oh boy. And, and on the other side. Oh, wait, are we doing all three? Yeah, no, they're they're just going back and forth. All right, and we've got Chris just got 10 pins out of my one finger because I'm one tough <laughs> motherfucker, Godwin. <laughs> Never heard that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> and for Tree Sice, we've got Scary. I'm so scary, Terry McLaurin. Oh, in the next matchup, we got him. We got Kenny Galladay. Please let it be a holiday. I just want to play. <laughs> <laughs> and for tree size, we've got Stefan. I'm digging in digs. Man, or disco, we've got Michael. What the fuck? You're my wide receiver three Williams? Projected at 14. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking up and down these wide receivers. Well, who are you gonna take there, Dilling? I gotta go with tree size. Yeah, I mean, Disco usually has the sexiest receivers, but I got to go with Tree Sice on this one as well. All right, in the running backs, we've got four Tree Sice. Derek, I am built for the playoffs. Henry, bulldoze your ass. No, oh, and then we've got JT Taylor <laughs> for the uh, Indian or the Indianapolis running back home improvement show. Nice. And for the Possum Magic, we have Christopher. I don't know. I'm back, but I'm ready to play Carson. <laughs> and for uh, Bigler, we've got Josh Jacobs. Basically, I'm only sexy if Bigler has me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hopefully he plays. All right. Um, look, I got to take Derrick Henry in this matchup. Yeah, I got to take Derrick Henry as well. Especially against Jacksonville. All right, and in the tight end position, we have Logan Thomas. And for Disco, we've got Waller the Baller. I can't, I don't wish I was taller because I'm fucking tall. <laughs> 
And, uh, you know, Baller's not going to put up 40, but he's still going to win this tight end matchup. I agree wholeheartedly. All right. In the flex, we've got for Tree Size Marvin. Please don't play Kenny Galladay. Not today. Jones Jr. <laughs> And in the flex for Disco, we've got Easy E, and he says, Give me that nut, feed me. I want that nut. Two nuts. Two nuts. <laughs> All right, well, I've got to give it to Easy E on this one. I got to give it to Easy E as well for Cincinnati. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, in the kicker position for Tree Size, we've got I can kick and I can hit the side of a far barn. Oh, that was a good one. And for Disco, we've got... Uh, <laughs> please don't come up Snake Eyes Carlson from the Las Vegas Raiders. Nice. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Farbarn. I'm going Farbarn as well. All right, starting for defense for Possum Magic, we've got Tree Size Does Dallas. Oh, he wishes he does Dallas. <laughs> and for Disco, we've got the... Washington Redskins. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. You racist son of a bitch. Oh, I said Redskins. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't know. I was looking at you like, what did I do? What did I do? I'm sorry. The Washington football team going up against San Francisco after taking down their previously undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers. What is going to happen? Yeah, yeah, I mean, even though Dallas is projected for more after that, I've got to give it to Washington. Going Dallas. Are you? Wow. Okay. Just because of Cincinnati, huh? Pretty much what it is, yes. All right, Delling, let's look up and down these lineups. Now, who, like, the projections couldn't be much closer. Uh, Disco's <laughs> favored by, like, four points. Well, like I was saying, look at this. They got Disco's only favored by four points. But I think it's going to be just, pretty much as close as it's saying. I'm personally, believe it or not, I'm going Disco. Uh, I think it's going to be a tight matchup, but I think he gets it done on the strength of his boy, Mahomes, and the Washington def defense with a little help from Easy e and Waller the baller. But I think Tree Size is going to put up a hell of a fight. What? You must be out of your mind, Brian. I ought to take this empty <laughs> beer bottle off the side of your head. I'm going with the possum magic wow. for the upset. He's wow. got the receivers. He's got the running backs. He's even... He's got a great defense. Look out, Tree. You're going to run over Disco. And then he's going to run right into you. That's right. Because you know the winner of this matchup is most likely going to be playing you. That's probably right. Potentially, potentially. Yep. It's, it's hard to say. I think uh, I want a rematch versus both of them, actually, because they both beat me. Yeah. At least once. <laughs> All right. But this is going to be a great matchup. And uh, I know these boys are really looking forward to it. And I think that, you know, it's gonna a lot of it's gonna be decided on Sunday. Let's see, if, is, there, is there any Monday night matchups here, or is it all Sunday? Uh, Cur currently, it's all Sunday. Oh man! Unless, just get it over. Just, just yeah, fucking butt heads and do it. That's right, all day, bumping uglies all day. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> unless, unless huh? Disco puts in, you know, one of his um, ravens. He, uh, he, I don't know if he will. It depends probably on the health of Galladay. But they're, uh, those Ravens are going to Cleveland, man. He can't do that. He loves Cleveland too That's much. That's true. That's true. And I don't blame him. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck to you both, boys. And now, the, the matchup of the week. Wow, we didn't even practice that. All right. Felt like a Thundercat. <laughs> Thundercats. Thundercats. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is obviously a rematch from last year's semifinal when Gags came in. I think he was either fifth or sixth seed last year. I don't remember, but I had to buy. Yeah. And uh, I came in ready to play Gags. And uh, it was a little guy named Julio and Tyler Higby who had different ideas that Dude, day. Higby. Fucking Higby. I think they both put up like 40 points. Dude, Higby went bonkers last <laughs> he year. He did. The, the playoff run, he just went bonkers, man. Yeah. And it's he like Gags won. It was yeah, all Higby. It was. And you know what? He's probably hoping that Beasley is his Higby. Oh, He's I hope not. He's hoping that. Um, but anyway, that's, 
Neither Light here. Motivator. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. We are in 2020. Uh, that was 2019. We we're forgetting the past and we're moving straight forward. And uh, let's get. He who forgets the past is doomed to repeat it, Brian. <laughs> I'm not forgetting. I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> Choosing okay. to ignore. There you go. <laughs> All right, starting with quarterback, the Hillbillies are starting Big Ben Raplesberger. Wow, you just called him Raplesberger. He's on your team. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, what the hell? All right, starting for Gags, I'm a little shocked here. We've got Deshaun. I've got the max contract. Bill O'Brien, get the hell out of here. Let me show you what I can do. Watson. And why are you shocked? I'm shocked at the Raplesberger thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, we don't know if he did it or not. We don't. It's all legend. <laughs> I'm guessing he probably did it. Anyway. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. He, that's my quarterback, man. That's my quarterback. <laughs> all right. Um, I will never uh, buy a Roethlisberger jersey. I'm actually going to give this to Big Ben just because I really do think it's going to be a shootout, and I think he's going to put up 50-plus. And I think it's going to be really close. Deshaun's going to put up close to that as well, but I think Big Ben ekes it out. I uh, actually kind of agree with you there. I think Roethlisberger is going to be a shootout. And... Uh, Damn these ads. <laughs> that is not NFL films. <laughs> anyway, that's a coffinator. Go buy one and stop these ads. All right, and all right, we all right. are back. Right. And Watson's played against Chicago, who has a pretty tough defense, so it could go either way, but I'm going to go Roethlisberger. All right. In the wide receiver's <coughs> position, starting at wide receiver one for the Hillbillies, I have DK, have you seen me without a shirt, Metcalf. Fair game, dude. <laughs> have you seen him, though? I, well, yes, I've seen him. <laughs> have you seen Pete Carroll without a shirt? Yeah, it's impressive. It is. It's very impressive. All right, and for uh, gags, we've got Tyreek. I catch touchdowns when I don't even know I catch touchdowns, Hill. Oh, uh, yeah. And starting for wide receiver two, we've got Keenan. I used to love Jut Allen. And starting for gags, we've got Julio. I catch everything under the sun, Jones. And my wide receiver three, we've got Clayton. Clayton. <laughs> I can't mess his name up. Chase Mapletron. I like to call him Eyebrows. Claypool. Eyebrows. Have you seen his eyebrows? I, I, do, I dealt to him. I have oh, seen okay. his eyebrows. I saw his girlfriend, too. And let me tell you. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just turned into like a seven-year-old dude. Oh, the so Marx Brothers. <laughs> yeah. I saw his girlfriend before I saw him. Anyways. You know his wife is really hot? Troy Polamalu. Is hot. His wife is so hot. I met his wife. Oh, really? Sort of. Super hot. I held the door open at the movie theater for the family. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was after we went and saw Beauty and the Beast. Anyways, <laughs> back to, uh, to Gags. Starting for Gags and wide receiver three is Mike. You better stretch. You don't want to hurt your hammy, Evans. Uh, hopefully he plays for you. I don't want to see one of your big guns go down. But um, if he does, oh well. Starting at running back one for the Hillbillies, we have Dalvin. Please don't get hurt in the playoffs. Cook. And for gags, we have David. Ooh, David. <laughs> Catching up, starting to run ragged Montgomery. <laughs> and for the Hillbillies, formerly of the Shawshank Athletics, we have Nicholas. Let me see that chub, chub, chub. <laughs> and uh, for gags, we've got Get Your Rojo Rising. <laughs> Jones. The second. <laughs> All right. And for tight end, we have for the Hillbillies, TJ. I look like a frat boy, Hawkinson. And for the tight end for gags, we've got Travis. I also look like a frat boy, Kelsey. And I'll bang <laughs> anything that comes to my door. <laughs> All right. Starting in the flex currently, we have Hunter. I've got nothing, Henry. <laughs> and in flex and gags, we've got Cole. I'm still trying to keep the popular fat of a man bun a thing, Beasley. Oh, is that true? Yeah, oh yeah. I did not see that. All right, starting for kicker, we have Harrison kicking some Butker. Ooh, I like it. 
And then for gags, we've got a Justin, kiss my butt, Ker Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for defense, this is <coughs> with a heavy heart. I benched the Pittsburgh Steel Curtain when I found out Vince Williams, the leading tackler, is now down with COVID and he is out. So I said, you know what? Give me whoever's playing Denver, and that's the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> And for gags, we've got the vaunted New York Giants defense versus the Arizona Cardinals. And I got nothing to say because they're the Giants. And you know what's interesting about that is if you if you didn't know, he also owns the Cardinals defense. Uh, so it know. should be interesting to see what happens in that game. So sure hopefully he's making the right call. as much as mine. Yes. Um, all right, let's look up and down these lineups. Um, let's see real quickly if uh, Mike, Evans, Mike Evans doesn't play, it's probably going to be like Slayton or Kirk, I guess. I'm not sure who's going to actually play. My vote is for Greg Ward. Yeah, he probably would play Greg Ward. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, regardless, um, I think it's going to be a close matchup. I really do. Uh, but I actually believe I'm going to get the revenge that I am seeking. And uh, I think I'm going to get that revenge from Big Ben, DK, Keenan, and believe it or not, I think, well, Dalvin and uh, the Carolina D. I am afraid of, on Gag's side, just with all due respect, I'm afraid of what Tyreek Hill's going to do, Kelsey's going to do, and uh, obviously Watson's going to put up a decent number. Yeah. But um, I think I'm going to be able to to edge you on this one and, and I I just hope that I can start your playoff decline well Brian I think you were so amped up in your matchup that I think we forgot yes what did we go after the groups of players of who's gonna play who's gonna beat you like the receiver <laughs> yeah, we totally did yeah so all right let's go back real let's quick rewind that we know okay. Brian's room for himself <laughs> obviously <laughs> all right so for receivers receivers I'm going uh gags over you so far all right I whew, I actually am going to go myself just because DK and, and Allen both have great matchups. All right. And, and because right. Evans probably isn't looking good. Okay. And the running backs, we've got Montgomery and Jones again versus Cook and Chubb. I got to go Cook and Chubb. Yep. Detling is Cook and Chubb. That's right. I, uh, I'm going to do that as well. <laughs> All right. For tight ends, we got Kelsey versus Hawkinson. Got to go Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey. He's going to beat anybody in that position, even Kittle at this point. And for the flex appeal, we got Beasley versus Hunter Henry. Uh, believe it or not, I think we're going to go Hunter Henry. Wow, that is a shock. Uh, I'm going to go Beasley. I All think right. Beasley gets like 20 points. He's been like a PPR machine. Sure has. All right. We got Tucker versus Butker. I'm going Tucker. I'm going to go Bucker. And for defense, the Giants versus Arizona or Carolina versus Denver. I'm going Carolina. Yeah, I think they're both going to put up kind of similar numbers, probably like 20 to 30 points each. But I'm going to say Carolina slightly. All right, I'm going to take me. Who are you taking? Oh, very tough choice, Brian. Your arch nemesis, Gags, who also has three Tonto Bulls, should I remind you? <laughs> Or my friend Brian, who has one Tantu Bowl yeah, and roots Pittsburgh. against me constantly <laughs> in the playoffs. Tough yeah, choice. True, true, true. No, neither choice is a win for That's me. That's right. Um, I think I have to go you, Brian. And I, the reason I'm going to go you is the strength of your running backs. They do and, have tough uh, matchups. They really they do. do. They really do. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say you as long as Dalvin Cook doesn't get injured. All right. I hope that comes to uh, fruition, but uh, Gags. Oh, have a top match. He's against Baltimore. Ba they're not good against the run. Baltimore's good against the run. That's what I'm saying. He has a tough matchup. Oh, I think he's a top matchup. Oh no, no, tough, tough, tough. They oh. both have tough matchups. I'm still gonna get you. Okay. You're gonna get a squeaker on the strength of a 40-point Keenan Allen performance. Oh, I hope so, man. It's it's gonna take one of those big performances from somebody. And, uh, and Definitely. And I don't think it's gonna be Julio this this week this year. It might be Tyreek. It very well could be Tyreek and Kelsey. Those are the ones that scare me the most. Are there any games on Monday? Uh, Chubb. Chubb, Chubb versus um, Tucker. Ah, okay. Well, Chubb. you tuck the Chubb or will the Chubb <laughs> Tucker? <laughs> That's good. Uh, we, we shall see. We shall we see. We shall see. Um, but anyways, good luck to you, Gags. 
Okay, what's, go- what, what's going on, though? Well, you know, Craig and I, are just the, we're just at the disco, hanging out in the corner, because we're too afraid to talk to women. Yeah, who's who's spinning? DJ Shark? Uh, DJ Joe. Smokey Joe. <laughs> he's, uh, he's spinning the rackets, man. Ooh. Craig and I are just hanging out, you know, doing some lines of cocaine. Uh, praying your players don't get injured. Praying our players don't get injured is correct. Waiting for the next matchup to, to get amped up for. And... Uh, we're uh, very excited. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, who would you like to see? I it- want a purple uh, cabriolet. Oh, sorry. I thought you were, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Santa is real. And, I, I, and then I thought you might have been like ordering a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her name is Cabriolet. <laughs> yeah. All right, who do you want to see in the Selena. semifinal? Lena, come back. That's yeah, Lena. Man, she was hot. Yeah, she was. Wasn't that so great of a dancer, but she was hot. Who do I want to what? Who do you want to see? In, who do you see in the semifinal? Do you want to see Disco? I uh, want to see Tree Size. You want to see Tree Size? To play me? Yeah. Yes, I want to yeah. play I want to play against Tree Size because I don't yeah. want to play against Pat Mahomes. Okay. I'll be honest. Okay. So, so, so you're kind of rooting for Tree Size to win that one, huh? I most definitely rooting for Tree Size to win that one. Really, it's not even kind of. No, it's, I don't want to lose. Like, if Disco's whole team sucks, uh, but Mahomes has like an eighty-point performance, it's like one of those things you just like you're, you're just pissed at. Yeah, but you do realize that if Tree Size wins, oh wait, 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 no, I'm sorry. If Disco wins and Gags wins, you're still gonna see him. Right. This yeah. is why I'm rooting okay, for you, you, you to win against Gags, yep. so you play Craig. Got you. Fair point. Fair point. That is my ideal. Situation. Yep. And then, and then it would be either yeah me or Craig in the final. Once again, ideal. Ideal. But you in the finals is a Pittsburgh draft guaranteed. Oh, that's true. That's true. If Craig in the finals, and I beat him. I get to hell alone for the rest <laughs> of his life. Remember that one time we met in the finals, wizard. Oh. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It'd be a, it'd be a fun final. Let, let, and let me break this down for you. If, I'm like Chris Collins. Let me break this down for you here. <coughs> we got a couple possible scenarios that I, I'm sure some of pe- some of you have like figured out. We could have a podcaster bull, which would sure. be great. Uh, well, listen to podcast would be us. Yeah, that's true. Nah, that's nah, not true. You know, Disco and Craig would probably gags. Yeah, that'd be about it. Definitely Seth. It's, <laughs> of course, Seth. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you realize this or not, but we could have a marijuana buddy play out, or a Tonto Bull. That would be also very interesting. That yeah, would that'd be. be the highest. It would be like the Weed that'd Bull. The highest. <laughs> the, <laughs> the highest Tonto Bull rating ever. That's high <laughs> praise. Uh, we could obviously have you versus Craig, Wizard versus, I don't know what you want to call it, you know. <laughs> Warlock. Warlock, okay, because yeah, you're not quite a wizard yet. I like that warlock. <laughs> um, but yeah, and obviously we haven't mentioned anything about Tree Size. He could make it too. He could make it, yeah. Tree could be getting it. He could get in there. I'm trying to think of a good itty uh, bitty tuna belly bows. <laughs> All right, is that what it's called? Tuna yeah, belly, tuna bows? belly bows, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it could be him versus Craig, which could be interesting. Isn't that a rematch? I think it is actually, yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, yeah, if it was you and I, it'd be a rematch. Uh, you and Craig have never played each other in the Tonto Bowl. Nope. I've never played Disco either in Tonto Bowl. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I will say this. I think right now on paper, anybody could win it. Um, yep, yep. Who do you think has the strongest team? Besides myself? Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> you got to say your own team first. Right, exactly. Uh, I think it's Craig. I hate to say it. I hate to say it too, but I think he might have the strongest team just because I think Rodgers is coming coming around. Coming around. Well, I mean, like he, he did lights out the whole season. No way, dude. He had a, he had a few stinkers this week this year. Legendary. Yeah, but no, he. I mean, he is playing MVP season. Yes. Um, if everybody stays healthy, I think he's probably got the strongest team. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. Although I don't. I know he's got three defenses, and I don't know. I don't think he has a lights out defense, but no, probably have a good streaming defense. Probably, I haven't uh, looked at it. Nah, you know, Craig's probably got the next seventeen weeks of his life planned ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, great Gator he was wearing at the draft. Yes, yes, yes. And I just only say that because I think Gators are stupid. Yeah, likewise, they yeah. don't they don't work. But you had a uh, start. Was it Starry Night? 
I don't even remember. I don't even remember. one. It might have been. Yeah, that is his gator. I didn't really look at the print. Yeah. Uh, Tired of all your clothes, Craig. Get some new shit. <laughs> all right, save this for another for another podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Save, like right you wear now, Crocs. You're it. a bum. <laughs> Stop driving around Wimber in your motor or your uh, your mountain bike. Everybody knows it's you. You're the next coming of fate, Photon Dave. What? I just think it's funny. Oh. I don't really know Photon Dave. But is that the? Does he ride his bike around town? When we were in fourth grade, there used to be this guy that would ride his his mountain bike around town with his Photon helmet on. Oh, nice. Do you remember Photon? No. Photon was the uh, the uh, generic version of laser tag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah, a red yeah. helmet, okay. a green helmet, and a blue helmet. Okay. And this guy would drive up and down the road wearing a photon helmet. And everybody's like, "Oh, that's just crazy, photon Dave." But that's what Craig's becoming, photon Dave, photon Craig. <laughs> well, like I said, you've got some uh, material there for the playoffs. I see. Sure do. And uh, I hope you enjoy your week off. I mean, well, you got your your, 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 time from the playoffs. But, Uh, yeah, in fantasy you have a week off. In real life you've got three weeks off. It's true. But that's the best part about that is I won't be working. I will be able to uh, participate in the lineup as opposed to before. Like when I was off, I would tape all the games and I couldn't go on. Right, until afterwards. Right. I have nothing going on now. So I can shoot some shit and trash talk back and forth. That's true. Except except for that 10-day stretch where you're going to be banging. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's so rough. That looks such a rough life. I gotta get my gallon of water. I gotta do my, I gotta do my stretches every morning so I don't get cramps. It's one of those things, man. It's rough. I mean, you know, you know. Yeah, you, were yeah. try, you, you had to create a kid once. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you had to do your 10 day bangers. <laughs> I mean, the amount of cocaine you gotta snort to keep it going is just crazy. It's just uh, insane. It's a good time. Enjoy I mean, it. the, enjoy China, it. the old China white. Hey, enjoy the ride. I, I will. From whatever he tells us, once the ride's over, you're not, you're not, you're barely allowed to get back on. Yep, that's true. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, it's fairly true. Fairly true. I know. Uh, uh, Ryan Foy is telling me. I, I joked around. He said something about. What's gonna, I said, oh yeah. Well, the, what's going to happen here over Christmas? You're going to have another kid. He's like, yeah, right. He's like, the uh, the the best cock blocker sleeps right between us in the bed. Ah, this was his first ben. kid. So yeah. I said, ouch. That son of a bitch. Yeah. So. I don't know, man. I'm just looking forward to uh, whatever happens, whatever, wherever life takes me. <laughs> I'm 41 years old. Either way, I know it's not the path I chose. <laughs> All right, Deli, you ready? I guess I'm always ready. Oh, let me get that cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, Brian. Let's go. <laughs> go, 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 go.